Greetings everyone and welcome back to another episode of Plan B Success. Ego, our perception of self, has often been tainted as evil, something each one of us needs to control and destroy. But our material world allows us to thrive and succeed only if we show aspiration and ambition. So how does that work? Well, if it's about what's between your ears, your mind and intellect, and how you use it that determines your level of success in this world, how can you be bereft of any ego when on a journey to realize your ambition and goals? I don't believe that eliminating your ego is the solution here, but it's about how you harness it to benefit you as well as others. How can you manage your ego so that it becomes the wind beneath your wings on your journey of success? How can it help create and maintain the balance in your life and what you are set out to achieve? Those are the questions that need to be answered to harness the power of your ego. And yes, how do you ensure that you don't get consumed by your ego and not let it consume others? Only then would it have served its purpose. Anything that you set out to do, to achieve in this life, needs the power of ego on your side. Your mind, intellect, ambition, action and ego are all interconnected. I, me and mine are the manifestation of your ego. However, without this manifestation, there is no action in pursuit of your ambition. The challenge with ego is that while it can become the fuel to drive you to realize your goals, It also very quickly can take over and control you, your life, all that you do and who you are associated with. This is where your awareness is vital, to be able to not fall into the controlling clutches of your ego. When ego takes over and you give in, it manifests in the form of arrogance, pride, perceptions, prejudices and vanity. You tend to believe that you hold ownership of any judgment you can pass and it's you, your work above all. There is more to life than just materialism, no doubt. However, the path of life passes through materialism, responsibilities and its needed practices. No one can afford to give everything up and let the wind decide the direction of life. It's just not practical. Yes, there is a time for the worldly life and there is a time for spiritualism. But again, you don't need to mix ego with spiritualism. You can still be in control of ego while living a material life. You can bring certain practices from spiritualism to help you be self-aware and control your ego instead of the other way around. Most of the action we take in this world is fear-based. Think about it. Whatever one does is to ensure they don't fall into trouble. Can't let that balance tilt, right? Ego has a way of showing up through anger, and frustration, and these are again fear-based. Being self-aware helps take charge of ego and its attempts to play on your weaknesses. Living your life consciously and being self-aware helps lead life the way it needs to be led, with you in control of it and not vice versa. Constantly remind yourself of your reasons, choices, and the path you have taken to reach the goals you have established for yourself. Pause and think a moment before you make a decision, say something or act. Always keep an eye on the results your choices will bring you. Make your ego your friend, who will do your beckoning and not the other way around. Love yourself, enjoy your ego and its company, no harm in that. But always, and I mean always, know that you are different from your ego. The day you let it be you, you are doomed, know that. You can work on understanding yourself and your ego. That's how you establish control and trust. You have the ability to train your ego to be humble, show humility and gratitude, compassion and service others. When you do this, practice it, you take away any opportunity for your ego to play with danger. It can in fact become your biggest cheerleader and the enabler of your success, both worldly and otherwise. Hey, I hope you liked that episode. 
Please do check out Plan B Success Podcast on your favorite listing platforms. It's also available on www.planb.live. If you're looking to learn how to podcast and learn everything there is to ideate, create, launch, and monetize a podcast, do get in touch through the website www.planb.live. And I'll be more than happy to help. Thank you very much. Thank you.